Your brother, miss, would you please listen to me? This is where I live. It's not quite your style, is it, mister? Doyle. Andrew Jackson Doyle. And I have the honor of addressing Miss... Rebecca Morgan. The pleasure is mine, Miss Morgan. Your hands are too beautiful to wait on tables. Good day, Mr. Doyle. When may I call on you? Tomorrow? The day after? The day after that? Saturday? Sunday? Show me your dance card, Miss Morgan, and I'll fill it up if you let me. Rebecca Morgan, I'm not leaving till I get an answer. I said I am not leaving until I get an answer, Rebecca Morgan. Call on me, Andrew Jackson Doyle. You better be damn sure you never have whiskey on your breath. How are you? Fine, sir. What's got into you, Jackson? You just disappear without saying anything to your mother. I suppose you rode off to join the war like some hot-headed fool. I expect you to come with us to the Virginia Convention. Why? Listen to you give speeches against secession? I have no wish to see my sons die. I will fight for our land. If you love it so much, then accept your responsibility as the oldest son and attend to your duties. My responsibility is to fight for Virginia. The glorious Virginia cavalry may not open its arms to men have been expelled from VMI. Well, then let Thomas wear the bars. I'll just kill the Yankees. Sure, it's a two-edged sword, son. There's more manhood in running a thousand acres of Virginia topsoil and strutting your feathers in some useless cockfight. Your mother's planning a Christmas wedding. Kindly discuss the details with Emily as you told your mother you would. You never discussed it with me, father. She's been living with us for 15 years. You can't expect me to marry a woman who's like my sister. I expect you to do what's right for once. Been a self-indulgent little boy long enough. Get your horse and take a wife who's worthy of the Doyle name. Jackson! Whiskey that bad? Ooh, I'd hate to be the man you're aiming at, Miss Morgan. Then don't get me mad. I don't intend to. What do you intend? I ask you to wait for me. You going away? There's going to be a war, Rebecca. So you came to say goodbye. It's my land. It's my fight. And I reckon you want me to write you long letters about how I miss your sweet kisses, don't you? Exactly. You expect me to just pine away here while you and your office of friends do what you will with the fine ladies of the Tidewater. Now, why would I do that? Because I love you. You don't even know me. I want you. I want you too. But men say one thing and do another. Then marry me.
your new mistress. I'm a newly married man. Bye-bye. All -bye. Miss Antonia and Mr. Henry be surprised. Here you are, Gabriel. Hey, I think we got some fresh pie in the uh, kitchen there. Why don't you check on it for me? Okay, very good. And what did he say? That marriage is forever. It's forever. I love you. How can you love me? You don't even know who I am. Okay. What we've done is foolish. It's just plain foolish. Hush, hush. Hush now. Who's afraid of forever when they can spend it kissing you? Convention was so exciting. Oh, Jackson, the children and I were witnesses to history. The proud day Virginia threw the Yankee politicians off her back. Ah, it's final. We've seceded. Look at Thomas. The Yankees won't stand a chance. Your brother has already been called to serve in the first Virginia Cavalry. Where will you get your commission, Jackson? Father says that I'm not officer material. My shameful oh. past. Who's the lady? The lady is my wife. Rebecca, come meet your new family. I'm John Randolph, Jackson's little brother. And this is brother Thomas, cousin Emily, and our mother and father. John Randolph, don't just stay there. Our guest is waiting. Take his arm, my dear. He's offering to escort you. That's what we do here, families of quality. Pepper, Jackson. 
You brought the dog of a peddler in your family's home. Now, you've done some stupid things before, but this is unforgivable. She's better off with that. Exactly. So I'll pass her hand to you, little brother, the proud white knight of Elysian Fields. Now, you have brought disgrace on the Doyle name. John Randolph, she's already refused our hospitality by telling you she's not hungry. My cousin writes poetry. Do you write poetry, Rebecca? Oh, no, I don't. What are your talents, Rebecca? <laughs> Look how much she is, John Randolph. Perhaps you so fine need a pawn embroidery? Play the harp. Speak French or Italian. I know you must do watercolors. Anybody who wears a dress like that on Sunday must be an artiste. No, I don't do any of those things. Then however do you fill your days? I work. What did I say? character and her little finger than all the simpering, fan-fluttering bells and all the cotillions ever held in the state of Virginia. That is enough. You foolish boy. Do you have any idea what you have done to us? How could you choose a wife so unworthy of you? She's common. I will not let you speak about Rebecca like that. She is common. There's no other word for it. You won't accept her? Fine. If my wife is not welcome in this house, then neither am I. We'll both leave. Tom. Tom, Tom, yes, you please help me upstairs. Of course. I believe I'm feeling a little sick. I'll leave your father to deal with the sins of his son. with child and she... No. Well, thank God for small favors. At least you hadn't forgotten all the moral standards by which you were raised. Don't you preach to me about morality. I'll never leave my wife's bed and sneak down to the slave quarters. You think I don't know our little half-brother? I'm your father. If you have any judgment left at all, hold your tongue. You will not destroy my life or ruin my marriage, father. Not from this day on. Jason! Three days. I could have died here by myself. Yes. You know I don't read too good. 